What's up, YouTube? Um, I just wanted to come on here and let you guys know that I have a little bit of surprise. I will be getting lipo. So I'm getting it tomorrow and I'm going to be vlogging it on my channel. So follow me, like, and subscribe. And you can see all the deets on getting lipo. So I'm thinking I'm going to be a little bit sore. That's what everybody says. And um, it should be fun. We'll check it out. I'm going like three hours away to get it done um, because I want to be awake. I don't like going to sleep. And yeah, so so that's what we're going to do. Um, if you have any questions, any comments, just um, leave, them, leave them down below and I will answer them. Any questions you might have about the procedure uh, before, after during i might even vlog um i might even do it live you know so you can see if you can handle it because i see some videos and they look really intense so we'll see how that goes um yeah all right so you can see how dark it is in here because it's so early but we got a little bit of light outside yeah So here is my bag with my computer on top because I will be using my computer afterwards. And this is a bag full of medicine. All kind of stuff is in here. Um, we got Benadryl for scratching and itching, Arnica, I mean uh, cortisone for itching, pills. Arnica cream. There's all kind of stuff in here. Because I do not want to be in pain. But I think I might. Husband's things all packed up. Well, he has his own things packed up. And so. So I'm here at my shape light poke. Getting ready to get it done. So this is me <clears throat> after my lipo, waiting for my fam to come out the restaurant. We're getting something to eat. Then I'm going back to the hotel and lay that. I'm gonna tell y'all about it. Yeah. That's subway after my lipo. This is another garment. I have one on. And they gave me a small. And they gave me medicine. I'm gonna fill up. Foam. Put inside. Shower curtain, put on your bed for the leaking. I already showed y'all the time and the chucks for the leaking. And, and the tramadol. Oh, you put these over the leaking. These are actual pads. They go over the holes that they use to insert the cannula and this is the strong stuff 
tramadol. Mm -hmm. Okay, so it's day one, and that's all the solution that came out of me. Put the uh, plastic on here, and I got the chucks on here, and I tried to use black towels and stuff so it won't be all over everywhere. So yeah, that's all the extra stuff they gave me. <sighs> I'm all right though. So I'm gonna show you the puncture. Oops, the punctures. See the hole. Supposed to close up in uh, one or two days. So I got one right here, one right here, one right here, one right here, one right here for my flanks, two right there, and two right there. So you can see it's coming through, but because I got on black, I don't have to look at it. But yeah. We'll see what happens tomorrow. So I'm in the restroom. And this is the wrap. Guess I'm not doing too bad. I see worse. Oh, I'm not going to take it off until tomorrow or something. Because I got an extra towel to catch the... um. Stuff is going everywhere. But I'm using black because I don't want to see the red stuff. So I'm just putting it under here to catch it numb. And I will say it's a little painful. But not that bad. No problems either. More fluids you get out of that varies from patient to patient. So uh, some people will drain uh, a lot. Uh, in fact, it's not uncommon for the, the hey, drainage to actually be stored out. Mm -hmm. And projectile 